Hello, hello. How you guys doing? Thank you guys so much for joining Tierra's Tarot. I really appreciate you guys clicking up to my video. This video will be for my cancers. Some moon rising, okay? Now, let's see what's going on for my cancers. Let's go ahead and clear the energy before I get started, okay? All right, cancers. Ooh. This will be love messages, okay? Keep in mind that... um. Some of these messages are not going to resonate with you. They're not going to all resonate with you guys, okay? So, just take the messages that resonate and what doesn't, leave behind, okay? Now, let's see what's going on in Cancer's love life. All right, what's going on in Cancer's love life? What's going on in Cancer's love life? What's going on in Cancer's love life? What, that is, what should they know when it comes to their love life? Or what do they need to do? What have you? What messages do you have for Cancer? The love life we have here. Let go of control issues. We all got that as well. We have here religious factors. Okay, what else? And then pay attention to the red flags. You deserve love. Okay. Let's go ahead and get started. Then we have some chemistry at the bottom of the deck. Alright, so let's go ahead and get started here. All right, Cancer, so there's a need for you guys to just allow a situation to flow, okay? Don't try to control the outcome of the situation. You need to let it be how it's going to be. If it's meant to be, it's meant to be. If it ain't, it ain't, okay? Just observe it at this time, okay? Just don't try to control it, okay? Go with the flow, because if you go with the flow, then you will definitely know, okay? All right, all right. There could be some type of differences between you and this person, uh... A different religious background, a uh, different nationality. Uh, you know, this person could be like like a total opposite of you, okay? Like definitely different. Um, maybe this person so for some of my cancer, this person's not awakened, okay? Um, or they could be really deep in religion, okay? And very strict, what have you. But um that could play a ma a major part. Maybe you guys are feeling like, hmm, that's kind of turning you not turning you off. What can I say, like it's kind of looking at you like, is this meant to be? Is there a feature between me and this person? What have you? Okay, but there definitely is a type of differences. And the signs are cautioning you at this time. Then we have, you deserve love. You are lovable. You know that you deserve what you, you know, love. You know that um, you deserve a type of love that is going to fulfill you. Um, not, you know, that every relationship is not perfect. But you are willing to take it to the next step, what have you. But as long as you're getting what you need out of the situation. And, you know, that's the love that you deserve, okay? And um, <clears throat> some of you could be feeling some type of magnetic pull, all right, towards an individual, all right, at this time. Uh, you guys could have high chemistry, high chemistry, okay? It's like you can't keep your um, hands off each other, even though there are differences between the two of you. You cannot explain it. That's why you get a soul tie in, okay? That's what I'm getting for some of my cancers, all right? But there definitely is some type of magnetic attraction or pull between you and someone at this time. So, cancer, I'm going to go ahead and move on to the tarot, okay? Ooh. The sun card, baby. And I did mention a Leo at the beginning of the uh, reading. So, now, some of you definitely could be dealing with a freaking Leo or somebody definitely is making you happy at this time here, honey. Okay. We, ooh, this card is just acting crazy. But look at that. Ten of cups at the bottom of the deck. Honey, honey, honey. It's crazy because whoever this person is that you're currently dealing with is totally different from you. But it's like you cannot help the way that you feel, Cancer. And this person can't either. It's just like a mutual attraction between you and someone. Y'all can't explain how the sparks are just flying between the two of y'all. But it's like, man, like this person different as hell though. Like the signs is cautioning me. Y'all, I'm so sorry. My family's in the background. If you hear... My spouse back there on the dang on game. My kids in the back just playing. Oh, chat, it's so loud. But anyway, <laughs> so we, oh, y'all, we have the freaking six of freaking wands. Okay, followed by the queen of swords, followed by the three of wands, followed by a death card, followed by a temperance card. Okay, so some of y'all could have definitely let maybe a Sagittarius go. 
or some of y'all definitely are going to be patient with a situation instead of see some of y'all could have probably thought about maybe leaving a situation and then some of y'all like i stuck between leaving or should i stay leaving or should i stay or be patient should i just leave it in the situation or should i just be patient wait it out and I think you should just be patient with it out with a cancer because let go of control issues is here. Don't control the situation because the situation could probably come out successful here. All right, but we do have the Queen of Swords here. It's like cancer, like it's ready to cut him up. Oh, <laughs> some of y'all could be ready to cut up the fuck. Oh, for real, like. Like, y'all definitely thinking about this. It's crazy, but it's crazy because this person makes you happy and you make them happy. Come on. Let's stop it with the games, okay? And a swords. And a swords. Let's say the swords. Oh, emperor. Ooh. Some of y'all could have felt like y'all was stuck in the situation, maybe with the father figure here. Okay? Hold on. Let me see. Because these cards are coming out cray cray. No lie. Okay, so I'm... Ooh. We... This definitely took another shift in the turn. So we have here the Wheel of Fortune. I didn't even show y'all cards. Wheel of Fortune. Seven of Wands. The Devil. Some of y'all could have been guarding yourselves against maybe a Capricorn. But this person could have been very fucking toxic. Excuse me. I just felt that energy. But this person could have been very, very freaking toxic. And it's like, that's why it's hard. Something, that's what it's like preventing you, maybe. Okay, because we have the Seven of Pentacles. We have the Page of Pentacles with the three, two of wands, excuse me, King of Swords, and the Emperor. This person could have wanted maybe a new beginning with you, okay? They're trying to figure out a plan to come towards you. But this person is definitely very cold, very intelligent. It's like they're thinking of a master plan to come towards you. But it's like you cut them out already with the Queen of Swords and the King of Swords. It's like two individuals is tore, like cold towards each other. But this, this the, the masculine figure is trying to figure out a master plan to get you or get and get like get you somehow, okay? Because this person is slick on a new beginning with you, but they're waiting on something. Maybe they're waiting on finances or what have you, money in order to get to you. This person could be maybe for a distance away from you, okay? High priestess, it's like. Somebody's very highly uh, intuitive at this time. Somebody could know this person or could feel this person's energy. Maybe they could feel this magnetic pull towards this person. But it's like, oh, somebody coming towards you. I'm, uh, somebody coming towards you, Cancer. And it's like, oh, my God, who is this? Hold on, give me some more details. We got the four pentacles. We have the... Nine of Wands, we have the Nine of Wands and the Two of Cups. So this person is very flighty. This person could be want to come towards you because they want to have sex with you. Okay? This person could be obsessed with you, Cancer. Like, they want to be back with you. They want that Nana again. And, like, they are coming. Like, that's why it says maybe pay attention to the red flag. The signs are cautioning you. You could be getting signs and synchronicities about this person coming towards you. And we got the high priestess at the bottom of the deck again. So, wow. Oh my gosh, my card's that funny. Hella funny. So, let me see what else. Or some of y'all could not be paying attention to your intuition and not see this coming. So, this is a warning. Okay? Hard fight in reverse. It's like, you could have been married to this person. We have the queen of pentacles in reverse, the knight of swords in reverse. We have the Queen of uh, Cups in reverse. You have no love for this person. Ten of Wands in reverse and the Page of Wands in reverse. So this person definitely want to come towards you, but it's like you're blocking them out in every aspect. Maybe because you know they're toxic, they are obsessive, and you know they're trying to come towards you. Mm. Whoa, child. Oh, ma Magician in reverse. This person is manifesting you, but wow. This person is watching you. Ooh. I don't like this. This is creepy vibes. I'm not going to lie. This is creepy vibes. We got the Seven of Cups. Okay. This person can have options. You can have options. Or this person can see that you have options. But it's like you have already moved away from the situation. The Strength card. Yeah. With the Tower. 
Six of Pentacles, Judgment. High Priestess, Three of Pentacles. This person got out a mistress as well. But it's like, it's a tower in this person's life. Okay? It's like, you had to gather all your strength to get away from this obsessed creature. But, and, and you probably took on a new beginning with the Ace of Pentacles. Oh, no. Somebody feeling regret with the Five of Cups. Ace of Swords in um, reverse. Some of you probably still ain't got all your clarity. But we have the Sun card here. But it's like, you're happy either way. Because like a... You're away from the situation, but the signs are cautioning you that this person is trying to get in contact with you, okay, here. So keep in mind, somebody coming towards you, maybe, like, seriously. Ace of Wands. Ooh, they, this is creepy vibes. <coughs> they about to reach out to you with the Eight of Wands. They reaching out to you. They trying to get in contact with you some motherfucking way. Cancer, <laughs> oh my. One, one, one. When I look at the clock, we have here five of swords. This person could even be talking about you to other people. King of Wands could be a fire sign. Okay, this person definitely, want, this person is coming towards you. I don't care what you say. Like, even if they haven't took the action yet, they're thinking about it and they're coming. They want to apologize. They want to offer you this love. They want to get back with you. Okay, they're obsessed with the nana. They're obsessed with the nana. It's just... But keep in mind, this person might get you pregnant. We got the world card. This person could like be definitely like a distance from you. What else? Woo! We have the King of Cups. We have here the Nine of Pentacles. So I'm getting a whole other energy. What is the King of Cups with the Nine of Pentacles? King of Cups with the Nine of Pentacles. So we have the three of swords in reverse. See, you're going to abandon this person. It's like you already have healed. You're probably going to go, ooh. Somebody got something else coming, though. We got the nine of cups with the eight of cups. Okay, some of y'all could have been definitely juggling offers. Because you got somebody that's obsessed with you, that's in your energy. But it's like, oh, wow. Damn, but it's like you got a whole nother offer coming or already got one, but you're going to leave somebody behind. Mm. Some of your options off the ass, but in particular, somebody wants you like somebody's creepy as hell. Like, oh, I don't let me see what sign this could be. What sign is this? Who's the creeper? Who's the creeper? I'm sorry, but this is cool, honey. I gotta get out this energy. My leg tingling and shit. I'm, oh, honey. I'm just cursing like a bat. Cancer. Could be a cancer. Who is this creeper? I said, could be a cancer. Like, I'm not doing cancer reading. <laughs> you know what's crazy about that? Because Leo came on their own reading as well. So it could be another cancer, or this could be you, creeper cancer. If not, definitely somebody's creeping on you. Sagittarius. <coughs> Sorry about that, y'all. It could be a Sagittarius. Let's see. Let's see who else. Definitely. Wow, Cancer. This thing got juicy, honey. Water sign. Another water sign. Maybe a Scorpio or a Pisces. Who else? A Leo. There got a Leo. Zach and Leo. And we do have air at the bottom of the deck. Huh? Close that. Now, we do have air at the bottom of the deck, you guys. Okay. So, sorry about that if I was too loud. That noise in the background. So, we have here Cancer, um, Water, another water sign. Cancers are Pisces. We have a Sagittarius. And we also have a Leo. We also have a Leo, you guys. Okay. And let's see what else. I said to hold on. I'm doing something. One second, okay? Thank you. Thank you very much. And um, let's see here. I'm going to pull you guys a fortune cookie card. So we have society. Say yes to all the wonderful invitations coming your way. Excellent networking opportunities and new love interest for singles will be a result. Mm. So yeah, I do got a new offer coming. Like I said, I seen it. 
but you got a creeper, okay? I'm sorry. But love, love is in the air, a great time for commitment and take your relationship to the next level. That is so freaking crazy. I'm going to tell you that right now. So you have options here, Cancer. You really do. But one in particular um, is definitely a creeper, okay? So please choose wisely because you do have people that want to be with you and, you know, see you as a good, significant spouse. But in particular, somebody's a creep. So whatever you put on social media or what have you like that, oh, honey, cover down a little bit because you got a creeper. But this could have been somebody that already had it, okay? Or just somebody that could be a crush or something, okay? Now, ask a question, and I'm going to pull an answer, okay? Now, if you guys want to pause, do that, because I'm going to get it going ahead and give you guys an answer, okay? Good child. Somebody creeping. Yeah, I creep. Yeah. It's a no doubt, and I answer no, yeah, so I creep. Anyway, unlikely, and peaceful resolution, okay? Alrighty, guys, I'll see you guys in the next video. This is going to be called Creeper, <laughs> okay? Some, some people like that, some people don't, okay? But I would want to know who the hell creeping on me. I'm sorry, I don't, I don't, I don't want, I don't, it's, no, I like for my man to be a little obsessed, but I'm not no creeper that I don't want. You know what I'm saying? Because this is somebody you don't want. This is very weird. But if somebody you may want, okay, you know. Some people like their freaky freak freak. Okay, freaky freak stuff. But anyway, thank you guys. Bye. <laughs> Bye.